Hey everybody, welcome back to Roscoe's Reef. So this episode is going to handle um, basically things that we feed our corals. I did a video prior to this and in talking to Polyp Lab, um, I got a package from them containing Polyp Booster, Reeferoids, and Reef Primer. Now what Reef Primer is, is basically a dip on steroids. Um, but for this product, I'm going to do a separate episode on that uh, just to give it its due and there's a lot of things involved with it. so that's why I'm going to do it's a separate episode. For this episode we're concentrating on Polyp Booster and Reefroids. Now what Polyp Booster is uh, basically it's a formula that you dose in your tank that triggers a feeding response from your coral invertebrates and fish. Uh, for the purpose of this episode what we're doing is concentrating on the coral. Uh, what you would do is you would dose one milliliter uh, per 60 gallons of the Polyp Booster into your tank and um, you're supposed to do this 1 to 15 minutes before dosing reef uh, roids. Now, they say that the triggering response to this is basically within 30 seconds. And when I tell you it does trigger a response from the corals and makes the sweeper tentacles come out and gets them ready to target feed or broadcast feed, whatever you would want to do. Now, the way I do it is I took a syringe here from a test kit where I could dose uh, one whole milliliter at a time and um, even though the bottle does come with a, a nice glass dropper uh, just give it a shake and you're ready to dose it whichever way you want to in my case like I said I use the syringe from the test kit because I feel like I got more control over how I uh, put it into my tank so now that I have my uh, dose ready to go into the tank Let's head on over and I'll show you exactly how I just drop it in. Okay, so now we're at the tank. Now what I do is I put this into a high flow area of the tank. You can see my MP10 is right over here. So I'm going to drop this in and uh, it will start spreading across the tank from right to left, making its way uh, around the tank and allowing all the corals to sense that there's food in the water and to start triggering uh, their feeding responses. Okay, so now that we have the dose of Polyp Booster in and it's doing its job, now I'm going to mix up my batch of Reefroids. Now what I have is I have two measuring cups here uh, with wa water from my tank in them. One is going to be for my broadcast feeding cup, the other one's going to be for my LPS feed. Uh, the broadcast is going to be the one that's full and that's the one I'm going to mix first. So in the first cup what I want to do is also make sure that this is a fine uh, particulate mix. Uh, in that when I broadcast it over the SPS it's still fine enough for them to pick up uh, and ingest so what I'm going to do is basically take these little spoonfuls and drop them in mix it up and get that all incorporated with the water and get it ready to dose so now what I'm doing I'm just speeding this up so this way we don't sit through all <laughs> me basically mixing a cup of uh, reefroids up and there we have it so here's the second cup and this is going to be for my LPS mix. Uh, this mix is going to be a, a lot thicker than the SPS because obviously LPS are going to have a larger mouth and they're going to be able to take in the reefroids a lot better than SPS. What the consistency I'm looking for is not so much a paste but a little bit more waterier than that but still thick enough that when I drop it in it's going to be able to drop down on the surface of the coral and uh, they are going to be able to pull this in much like uh, a meaty food they would do like mysis or, or, or something of that nature. Okay so here we are back at the tank and I want to see what the polyp booster has started doing as you can see it's pretty dramatic. My trachea is showing signs that it, it knows foods in the water and it's starting to get its tentacles out looking to grab some. The same thing with the rainbow favia you can see that and also the acans are doing the same thing. You can see this middle one right here 
is all fuzzy. Those are its tentacles coming out looking for food. Now, the SPS coral um, that I'm showing you, basically its sweeper tentacles are out, again, looking for particulate in the water column that it can feed on. And that's the advantage of using Polyp Booster is that these corals put out the tentacles and are getting ready for the reefroids. Now here you see I'm dosing reefroids with Julian's thing and I make sure that I dose it um, to allow the mix to flow into the coral and not trying to drop it so much directly on it. Uh, here is the SPS rock and uh, I'm going to sweep from left to right. As you can see, my I do have my wave makers off, but my return pump is still on, so I'm allowing it to float into the SPS rock and allow these uh, corals to grab it and be able to pull it in much like they would do if they were in nature. Okay, so now looking a little closer, you can see the Barney coral has reacted to both the polyp booster and the reefroids being in, in the column, and a lot of the filaments are coming out looking for food. This is more dramatic. These are the Sunny D's that are in my tank, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the mix very, very slowly. I'm not going to blast it too much. I'm going to drop it in and allow the, these pallies to grab as much as they can. And you can see here, here's the response that you're looking for. They're actively grabbing it and pulling it in and feeding on it. Now, one disclaimer I have, this is the way I do it. This is what works on my tank and I also have a lot of creatures in the rock and in the sand that will pick up whatever falls into the sand, so I've never had a problem with that. Now moving along to the trachea, this is going to be the thicker mix that I made uh, specifically for, um, like this section of my tank, I have a lot of LPS, I have the fungia plate in this section, um, the candy canes, the eight cans and such, and this is what I mix up the thicker mix for. Uh, as you can see, this coral has two mounts actually, so I'm going to be shooting it down and letting it fall onto the one side. You can see right there, it's reacting to the, the food being put into it and it's going to start uh, ingesting it. I'm going to speed it up here and get a little closer so you can actually see what this coral does. So basically that was pretty dramatic how the trachea just takes in that food um, and pulls it in from the outer lobes into the mouth. You see right here the, the close up of the SPS coral that I have in my tank, how the filaments are out looking for food and since the food contains a natural occurring marine plankton in it, um, it's not foreign food to them and they take it in readily and accept all the nutrients that it has to offer. So. As far as my opinion about reefroids is, um, I have used it in the past and I have made comparisons between it and a lot of other of the powdered mixes out on the market and I found that um, to purchase reefroids is basically a no-brainer no for me. My corals like it, they eat it, um, so do the, the fish and the inverts and whatever filter feeders I have in my tank, they take in uh, the benefits as well. Uh, since I've been using Polyp Booster, um, the preparation to dose my tank with this food is a lot shorter. Um, the, the tentacles come out almost in, instantly as soon as it hits the water, so it made it possible for me to dose my tank with this a lot quicker. So I also have, again, the microfauna in my tank that will handle any of the, the extra that falls into my sand, so um, the way I dose it works for me. I would say pick up a bottle and try it out in your system. Let it show you what it can do for your coral and your and your inverts and such. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all in making that purchase. So, with that being said, uh, this is the first of the series. Uh, there'll be more videos coming up with it. So, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription uh, button down below and hit the bell. Um, there's going to be some more. Uh, reviews coming up and sh ways of target feeding your coral and uh, as far as the powdered mixes like I said uh, this is pretty high on the list for me uh, it's the only one that I use in my tank at this time 
So uh, that's pretty much for this episode. Uh, and as always, uh, this is Scott. I will see you all very soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.